I gotta record myself. I think I feel more alive. No, like my head, like it. I feel like I need to throw up. What's up, Barbie Yannis? Welcome back to the party I did in today's video. I'm gonna be telling y'all my story on the first time I got high. Like, this is about to be the real, raw, and uncut story of my first time getting high. You know, if you have never smoked before, I'm just here to tell you that smoking is a very fun experience and you will feel funny, but that's because you've never felt like this before and that's totally fine. It's the, it's the drugs, it's the drugs for you. It's the drugs for you, okay? So let's get straight to this story. Yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so the first time I got high, I was 14 years old, girl, so young and dumb. So I went to my little white friend house or whatever, right? This used to be my best friend at the time. And I had went to her house because she was finna fire me up. So me, her, and her boyfriend was finna smoke. The blunt was already rolled and we was smoking a bad wood. You know what I'm saying? But you know we roll things, get to the point. And it was a big fat black wood or whatever. So the first thing we did was we went to the car. And we hot boxed the car for like two minutes. It was so fucking hot in that car. Like it was way too hot. We stay in Florida as hot as a pair in this bed like ain't nobody finna sit up here and stay in that car it was, it was too hot so we left the car we went on the porch we started smoking on the porch so my friend trying to tell me how to smoke because i don't know how to smoke and i'm 14 and i'm just now learning how to smoke and she giving me the blunt she's telling me to inhale like hit that bit suck the weed and inhale exhale inhale exhale so she just telling me how to hit the blow or whatever and i'm hitting that bin i keep hitting that bin i keep hitting that bit and all i remember her saying is we gonna get her high as fuck Cause like we gonna get her high as fuck so i start hitting that bit i start hitting the blunt whatever and i start coughing okay <coughs> so when you start coughing that's how you know the weed is hitting if you don't start coughing you ain't inhale a lot of weed when you start coughing you know you done inhaled you some weed and you finna get high pretty soon so i inhaled the weed i start coughing and so i start <laughs> Like, I start coughing like a bitch. So, once I start coughing, my chest start getting hot. You know, like, when you drink liquor and shit, your, your chest start getting hot as fuck or whatever, right? So, my chest is getting, like, is, is getting warm. So, as I'm getting warm, as my chest is getting warm, I start feeling high. Y'all, I kid y'all not, my heart was beating so fast when I first got high. Moms, and I was having paranoia and anxiety and all of that. And this is how I knew I was high. So every time somebody would speak or somebody would talk, I would hear everything they say twice. Everything that they would say would be like an echo to me. So like basically, for example, she would be like, we gonna get her high as fuck. I would hear that three times. In my head, I would hear, we gonna get her high as fuck. We gonna get her high as fuck. We gonna get her high as fuck. And I just kept hearing everything everybody was saying at like an echo you know what i'm saying so i start hearing everything like an echo or whatever and then i start recording myself and my eyes low and i'm just feeling i'm just feeling so like like i'm in a whole nother universe right now <laughs> why i look like that ah so my chest like i said my chest was feeling warm but it started feeling like it was like water running down my chest you know what i'm saying it started feeling like water was in my chest and it was moving like it was like an ocean type shit like fishes was swimming in my body like my body was feeling different like my body i don't know how to explain this but my body was feeling so different like my body felt like an ocean it felt like something was swimming inside me i don't know how to explain it but like bro when when you first get high you finna feel so much stuff everybody has a different experience but my experience was my chest and it felt like an ocean in my chest bro i totally forgot to add this clip in here but another feeling that i was feeling while i was high is i felt like i was dying <clears throat> like everything was flashing it felt like my body was shut back down and then i would wake back up you know what i'm saying and that's how it was like i literally seen my life flash and I would like die for a minute and then I would come back to life. And I swear to God, that is how I felt when I first got high. Like I was literally blacking out. Like I would literally black out and then wake back up to reality. 
And I would literally, I'm dead serious. Like it was flashing. My life was flashing. I'm telling you, I don't know if I'm explaining this confusing to y'all, but literally I was blacking out and waking back up throughout my whole high. I'm telling y'all, I was, I was very high. Everybody's high experience is different, but mine was exotic. And I forgot to add that in there. Bro, like it feel like I'm dreaming and I keep waking back up. <laughs> Bruh, bruh. Oh my God. <laughs> so after you know we sit on the porch and we finish hitting the blunt we took a little walk she i remember her telling me she was like we're gonna take a full walk we're gonna take a full walk so i get up and we start walking and a homeless man come walking by and i'm so high to the point where i don't even know i can't even think straight the homeless man walked by and i'm like hey <laughs> i'm like hey and we <laughs> Y'all was so stoned. So we after I said hey to the homeless man, they started laughing. My friend and her boyfriend, they just started laughing. They laughing their ass off. And then we had went and we kept walking until we got to a bench or whatever. So I'm like so high to the point where like everything is just crazy as fuck. Like I'm just I'm tweaking. Like I'm really tweaking. Like I'm about to literally put clips of me tweaking. Yo, she high. How, as fuck. How, how long you been recording? It feel like I just died. Like, oh! <laughs> I gotta record myself. I think I feel more alive. No, like my head, like it. I feel like I need to throw up. As y'all can see, I was clearly tweaking. I was very, very hot. So I started to feel weird. Like I started to feel like I was gonna throw up and stuff like that. When you first get high, like if you get real high, you might throw up or you might feel like you're going to throw up. I didn't throw up because I didn't, but I felt like I was gonna throw up like with the first couple of minutes of me being high. But I have a phobia to throwing up. So if I would've threw up, I would've probably never smoked again because it's like, I really have a strong phobia to throwing up. If I throw up, I'm gonna cry and have a panic attack. So I was like, y'all take me home. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So we go home or whatever. And I just remember sitting down at her bed and I'm just looking in her room or whatever. And I'm just analyzing everything in her room. Like I just start visualizing a whole bunch of weird shit like i just like when you high you visualize a whole bunch of stuff like it's so hard to explain but like i started visualizing like drawings of stuff like spongebob characters like the 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 deep blue sea like the the bikini bottom bit like i started like visualizing all kinds of weird stuff i was stuck okay when you get high when you first get high you be stuck and that is what i was i was stuck like chuck i was stuck in my own little world like this after me being stuck for like i don't know how long my mouth started getting really really dry and that's how you know you high when you start getting cotton mouth so i started getting cotton mouth or whatever my throat was so 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 dry and i was like damn why is my throat so dry so i started drinking some water or whatever the water was not helping so we ended up walking to the store now one thing i will say when you get high and you try to tell a story about how you were high you really forget how things happened in what order like you remember everything that happened but you forget what order it happened but i do know we ended up walking to the store so as we walk into the store my legs feel like they about to go out because i'm high and child my legs they just feel like they about to go out so we walk to the store we walk the Publix because Publix is like around the corner but it, the walk felt like forever so we walked to Publix or whatever and we went and we got some snacks we got some banana chips some toastitos and the little cheese you know what i'm saying the cheese dip that you put the little you know what i'm saying the little chips in or whatever and we walk all the way back home which felt like forever so as soon as we get home i'm high as a kite i'm still high i have like a cotton mouth i still got the cotton mouth so we come back and we start snacking now one thing about my first high is i had the munchies like a bit food ain't never taste so good until the first time i got high when when i was eating that food bro i had the munchies and i was eating a lot so we had these banana chips these plantains and it's a specific kind that we had i don't know which ones they was but i was munching these bitches down these bitches was so fucking good y'all i kid y'all not they tasted so good like it just it tasted so exotic to me like i was eating them bitches and i was eating so much of them to the point where it's like 
girl i'm almost ate the whole damn bag okay and it's like they tasted so good like the flavor was just so busting and it was just so exotic i'm telling y'all I, I was i was out of this world so after i got done eating the plantain chips or whatever and i never really cared for plantain chips but when i ate them while i was high that was like the best thing on this earth so then we started eating the um tostitos chips with the dip i started eating that oh my god y'all i was so high like i was high for a good four hours off of one blunt and i'm telling y'all the the food was busting i'm eating the chips and like i'm eating so much chips like i'm eating so much chips and dip like i'm just i'm eating so much and after i ate them chips i'm eating chocolate it's just food 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 when you get high you get the munchies bro you get the munchies my friend had ended up putting some lashes on me I forgot how it happened, but I do remember her putting lashes on me because I looked so fucking stoned to the point where it was like, girl, you're fried. Like, girl, you're out of this world. You, you don't even live on planet Earth no more. You stay on Pluto, bitch. That's that's where I was at. I was not on planet Earth. I was on Pluto, baby. I was on Pluto, a whole different planet. So if she had put me some lashes on, them bitches looked crazy, but it was what it was and it was what it was going to be. And yeah y'all my high lasted for like four hours i was very very stoned everything seemed different like when you're high everything seems different and then i had ended up coming home or whatever and once i had came home i still felt like the symptoms i was feeling when i first had got high but it's like i was sobering down or whatever but i still was feeling like my body was still feeling like an ocean and I was still, like, every time people were talking, it was still echo a little bit. But I wasn't, like, stoned, stoned how I was stoned earlier. And the next day, I slept. Like, I was in the bed all day. When you first smoke and you, your body is not, like, tolerant to weed. I don't know if that's the right word. But when your body is not used to something, it don't know how to act when it when you take something new. So, when you first start smoking or, like, when you first get high, like, the next day you're gonna be tired we will make you so sleepy we makes you lazy honestly i don't know how people smoke weed in the morning and then go to school because honestly when i get high i don't have no energy to do anything i just want to sit down and lay down and eat and go to sleep like when i'm high i don't want to do nothing like i don't know how people like get high and then have all this energy to do everything i don't have energy to do nothing i'm stuck like baby i'm gonna look at you like this Huh? that's what i'm gonna do like the next day i was really really tired i ain't wanna like do nothing i was laying down i was high as fuck i'm telling you when i was high i had a weed hangover the next day like i was sleepy i was not like bro that was the most crazy experience like my first high was so crazy bro but i ain't gonna lie i enjoyed it it was a fun experience do i still get high like yes i still get high y'all like yes i do be smoking me some weed from time to time but i don't smoke every day i'm not like a smoker but i'm a smoker <laughs> but i don't get high every day i don't gotta buy weed i don't gotta roll up every time like every second of the day i don't gotta roll up i'm not that kind of bitch but i am that kind of bitch that loves to smoke and i like the vibe i feel like smoking sets the vibe and smoking is my love language like eating and smoking is my love language i love to get high with people i just feel like it just make everything more fun but i'm not about to smoke every single damn day you know what i'm saying i'm not like that i'm not a pothead i don't need it every day you know what i'm saying but thank y'all so much for watching this video make sure y'all like on and subscribe and y'all tell me about y'all first high if y'all ever got high before or whatever my first high was exotic and it was fun and i would never forget that <laughs> Like, I would never forget my first high, boo. But thank y'all so much for watching this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Bye, Barriana's.